Hello. Right. How are you doing? Very nervous. Yeah, yeah. Got a couple of hours now to go. Yeah, still yeah. nervous. Still very nervous. I'll be nervous till I get in the car and go home. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been for you the last six weeks? Or five weeks in your... It hasn't been too killing. bad. I had a lot, of the, a lot of my ideas were already there. Yeah. But once I signed up in May, I started writing. Right. And I started writing a load of gags down. Right. Which I then threw in the bin once I did that first session. Right. Realised that to do something completely different, which is what I did that first night. Right. Was me... Be back of me. Plan B was the first thing I did, and the plan B seems to have worked, and I worked on that. Okay. Do you feel that when Bren was saying that you know you keep going over it and going, over, you lose the ability to see the funny side in it, and when you go out, you're thinking, Hang on, I've heard this a hundred times, it's not funny. Do you feel yeah. like that to a degree? I rehearse it in the car all the way to work and all the way back. I rehearse right. it in the car out loud, right? And I've done it in different voices as well, right? And I've done it in Alan Partridge all the way, that was funny. Right. And on the way back, I did it all as Johnny Vegas. Right. And when I do me Johnny Vegas, I got rid of him and just put me in. And that was all right. Yeah. But it yeah. meant that I meant I made it that little bit longer. Yeah. Instead yeah. of going from roundabout to roundabout, I'm going from roundabout <laughs> to roundabout to roundabout to finish it. Yeah. So it's getting That's longer. Some timing that roundabout. It's getting longer. Isn't it? yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So you think that uh, the last five weeks you've learned a lot from Bren's I have. workshop? Yeah. He's helped. All the others have helped. Mm. They all chip in with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think what I've got would be any good if they hadn't chipped in this, chipped in that, and the Bren saying move this and move that and finish right. that off with that. Right. So you can see, it. yeah, it's you really can see it was a work in yeah. progress. And I don't think there's a career in it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you hoping for tonight then? Get it all done. Get a couple of laughs. Yeah. Finish without collapsing. And I don't want to do a Tommy Cooper. <laughs> for those people I under thought 30 about that. I've thought about that I'll do a Tommy Cooper tonight good night and, uh, <laughs> there's no there's no yeah you can't go through there's the old no, yeah there's no curtain <laughs> so seriously would you consider doing this again would you consider going up on stage and doing some stand up after this I think probably, having learned what you learn probably not because I'd probably need like five months to right. work it out right have it fine tuned yeah I'm, I'm not really a a stand on stage kind of guy. Wow. I could write for somebody else. Right. Maybe. Right. If right. somebody came and did the workshop. And you could, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind doing the jokes right. for them. Right. And fine tuning it for them the way Bren was with me. Right. Maybe, maybe help him out, I don't know. Right. Right. But I couldn't get on stage again after tonight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you're completely out of your comfort zone then? Yeah, we don't do comfort zones. Stuart got told off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. There's no We're not doing comfort zones. No, but listen, I wish you all the best tonight. Thank it's going to going to go down a storm. I know that. All the best, and it's been Thanks brilliant a lot. watching Thanks you for all being there all these weeks as well. He's originally from Witness. He went to the chef. Please welcome on stage the wonderful Mr. Martin Lyon. You can come on Tuesday. We've got decking outside. You can sit out there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I am Martin, 46. I am a chef. Been a chef for 30 years, and currently, I work at Sweeps. Yeah. So we've got some staff. We've got some staff over there. We've got some staff over there. We've got some staff over there. We've segregated them. <laughs> See. Now I signed up for this back in May, which is a long time ago. And uh, when Brendan said, you know, just give us like five minutes material to start with, and I thought to myself, five minutes? We're going to do it in five minutes. Or oh, boil an egg. <laughs> so we have, we have three degrees of cooking an egg in catering. When, you, when you're boiling an egg, you've got the hard-boiled egg. Now we call that the John Bishop egg. Because it takes forever. <laughs> and it just goes on and on and on. And then it just sits there, and then you just sit there, and I'm still boiling in there. So that's the first degree. Now the second degree is known as the soft boiled egg, which is the Johnny Vegas. Because I haven't got time! I just want it to cook! I want it to cook! I want it to cook now! I'm not even going to wait! I'm just going to take it out! 
to me to show an all. <laughs> the Johnny Vicks. Now the third egg, the middle egg, the perfect egg, the just right egg. I know that as the Derek Cora, the happy medium. <laughs> But it'll come back and haunt you. <laughs> With a dodgy Scouse accent. <laughs> but we have been cooking for a long time now. And I've learned so many different things over the years. Different places, different restaurants, different styles. But just recently, we've started having these weird words coming into menus like shoo. Which is gravy. <laughs> Gourmet. Expensive. <laughs> Tapas. Kid meals. <laughs> adult prices. <laughs> Lime court. Add two pound. <laughs> and these have all crept in to all these menus and I'm going to claim it back. I'm going to keep it simple from now on. We're going to have, instead of having these stupid things like locally sourced Hand reared old Gloucester spot sausage with a puree of locally fine potatoes with a shoe. <laughs> nah, bangs and mash. <laughs> We're gonna keep it nice and simple. Now, in catering, you get a few complaints, as you do in, in boiler work. Obviously, do. No, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, Greg, no. Obviously, <laughs> you're not going to know, are you, Greg? No. <laughs> I know. I've seen you out there, but I knocked the lady too. <laughs> but I, we, I used to work in a place and we used to get the odd complaint. But one of my favourites, we used to have a lady who used to come in every week. But before she'd come in, she'd bring us up and she'd say, Hello, what's the soup? And we had a, we had a phone in the kitchen, so it was usually me who got the, the raw end of it. And I was like, well, it, this week it, uh, it's mushroom. Oh, what colour is it? Well, it's beige. <laughs> mm. All right. And she'd come in and she'd have her mushroom soup. And then the following week, Hello. What's the soup? <laughs> it's me. Mm. And she'd come in and she complained once because she found a pea in her pea soup. <laughs> what a writer. Another week she rang up. What's the soup? It's mulligatawny. Mm. Don't like owls. <laughs> Now, I've been experimenting recently with different kinds of cooking, as you do, as you do at Sweeps. You have to try everything, don't you, here? And I've been trying to cook with a roadkill. Yeah, we're on the Tartan Bypass, there's going to be a bit, isn't there? I've seen to have a bit of a backlog of bicycles. And that's the cleaner version of it. Now, I've, I've been in here. A couple of times now doing this lovely comedy workshop with some cracking people and I've noticed that there's a really nice restaurant out there isn't there <coughs> and there's some lovely staff there's a lot of lovely staff and they've got staff who do a bit of everything they've got one lovely lady who comes along and she sits you down and she gives you a napkin and she's the napkin waitress I like it and then another one comes along and she, she gives you a menu and she's the menu waitress and then a chap comes along and fills your glass with water. He's the water waiter. Nice. And then another man comes along with a menu. And it's the wine menu and he's the wine waiter. I like him best. <laughs> Although, there's always the head waiter. <laughs> you can guess what he does. <laughs> five stars, ladies and gentlemen here, five stars. <laughs> And you know what he gets? He gets the tip. <laughs> now I'm from Witness originally, 
and when, when I get home, I, I don't care. I don't eat what I cook. You know, don't be fooled by this. <laughs> Never trust a thin chef. Steph's been working on it, and he's working really well on it, aren't you, Steph? Yeah, good man. Give me a thumbs up. No, not that. <laughs> and we eat shit. We do eat shit. However, when I get home, I like to have for tea what I call the witness wedding cake. Now, the witness wedding cake, if you're not familiar with it, is basically a nice low cut beef casserole and a nice rich chew <laughs> topped with all butter signature pastry. And on the side of that, you have spaghetti Neapolitan and pom. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. You're looking at me, and that's it. I'll have that back in a minute. <laughs> it's Yves Saint Laurent, though. No, it's not. No, it's Asda. <laughs> <laughs> pom Benedict, anyway, on the side. And that's all washed down at the end of a day, about 30 seconds after I've left work with a nice Belgian fine light lager. Mm, Greg's excited already. <laughs> However, I'd like to break that down a bit easier into something that I can understand. And I call that a Frey Bentos, spaghetti oops, <laughs> curly fries out of the freezer, oh, and a can of skull. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for listening, everybody. I love you from the heart of my bottom, and good night.